All right, so one of the biggest problems in the Amazon Influencer Program is you spend time making a piece of content, you upload that video to your storefront, and some brand comes along and looks at it and goes, I would like to have that. And then the next thing you know, they have copied your video, usually without your permission, and re-uploaded it as a brand video. This is a problem because one, they shouldn't do that, that's a jerk move, but two, it actually risks you losing some commission because now there's two of the exact same videos on that product. Why would somebody wanna watch that one and then turn right around and watch the exact same video? So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to find brands that have stolen your videos I'm gonna show you then what you can do about it after that to make sure that they take that video down. And I'm gonna be honest, there's some situations where you may not wanna file a copyright complaint even though they took your video. I'm gonna talk about that here as well. Uh, if you don't know, my name is Rob and I've been in the Amazon Influencer Program uh, for two years and I'm just here sharing my tips, tricks, and advice. These are things that I've learned along the way, both good and bad, to hopefully help you make more money in the Amazon Influencer Program. So if that sounds good to you, like it's in your wheelhouse, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you can see all of my other videos. And if you get halfway through this video and you find I'm actually giving you something of value, then maybe you also consider hitting the like button because I do like likes. Indeed, I think I am your Amazon Influencer Guy. I also just realized my microphone is crooked and that's driving me crazy. Don't mind all of the Blackberry Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper. Uh, it's been a long week and a little bit of caffeine is going a long way. Let me switch my uh, screen over to Amazon. Okay, so now on our storefront, uh, what we need is a way to be able to find these brands whenever they have stolen this. Now, unfortunately, there really isn't any way to track it based off of the video itself. So the content of the video or the words that's spoken on the video. Amazon does store that information, but we as the public don't have access to that. So we needed another way to be able to figure out if people were taking our stuff. And I created this feature right here. And this is a feature within the uh, Google extension called the Amazing Influencers Toolkit. It's for Amazon influencers. I created it for Amazon influencers. If you're an Amazon influencer and you don't have it yet, there's a link in the description down below. You can go and download download this for free. This is one of the uh, paid features you can get through there. It's only $14.99 a month right now. So I did this based off of timestamp. So the way this works is you're gonna go to your storefront and you're going to click, there's a little extension or a button up here, and then you're gonna select copyright audit. Once you do that, it's gonna search for your whole storefront, it's gonna look at all the videos you've made, and it's going to grab the timestamps for each one of those videos you've made. And then it's gonna look at the products that you tagged on each one of those videos. And then it's gonna to go to those uh, products, and it's gonna look at the brand video situation. And it's gonna go, okay, the, me, he has a video that's a minute and six seconds long. Do the brand videos have any videos that are also a minute and six seconds long? Because if it is an exact match, there's a high likelihood that they have taken your video. And I'm actually gonna show you some examples from this list right here that I just did on my own storefront. There's also a secondary check that it will do called a within margin. So in other words, if the brand has a video that's very close timestamp to yours, it's not exact, but maybe a few seconds under or a few seconds over because if brands want it, sometimes they're sneaky and they'll cut a little bit off or they'll put something in there just to make the time a little bit different. Sometimes Sometimes they'll even change the thumbnail to throw you off. I think we actually might see an example of that here in a second. So this section here is going to show all of those things. So um, that's how we're gonna track these things down. Now, just because there's a video that's an exact match or that it's close, doesn't mean they've actually stolen it. In fact, you're gonna see some examples of that here where sometimes it just happens to be the case. Uh, also within this, whenever you get your final results, there is a button right here or a link that if you wanna know that how to file a copyright complaint to get those taken down, you can just click this and it will take you to my website where I need to fix this video here, but it'll explain exactly how to file a copyright complaint in these particular situations. So let's look at a few of these examples on this. So as we click through each one, we're opening each one up. I think this is the first one right here, 4LO. It is. So let's take a look at the videos. Again, this said it was an exact match. And I can tell you right now that this is an exact match. Why? Because this is my video right here on their thumbnail, right? The brand, if there is an upper carousel, the brand thumbnail on their first video will be right here. You can see it. I, I can click this. Job. And there's me and my gross dog. And in fact, you can see over here, that here I am and they've stolen it. So now the question though is, am I gonna file a copyright complaint on this? If I do, and this video gets removed, 
then the upper carousel disappears, right? So then my video is no longer in the upper carousel. I don't really want that. I kind of want that upper carousel to be there and I like my video being in the upper carousel. So what can I do here? The same video is on here twice. It's the exact same thumbnail. Well, here in this particular instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna just replace the thumbnail. I'm gonna make it snazzy. I'm gonna make it spiced up so that whenever somebody opens this up, that they'll still click on mine because it just looks better than this one here. So even if they start watching this one here and they go to this one, if I can just get them to watch mine for a couple of seconds, I have the potential to earn commission on that. So they'll come down here, they'll click, and they'll realize within a couple seconds, wait a minute, this is the same video, and then they'll exit out, but I've got them now in my cart because I was able to convince them to click on mine. So here we have a match. We know this is a match. I'm going to leave this right here. Let's go to the next one. All right, so we have another problem here. This again is the brand video thumbnail, and there I am. If we click on this, there I am. And in fact, same thumbnail, same thumbnail. Now this one, I will file a copyright complaint. Why? Because there are other brand videos here. So whenever this one gets taken down, we don't r run the risk of losing that upper carousel. So in this particular case, minute 19, minute 19, this one's going to be taken down. The upper carousel is still intact. So that's that one there. Another one here, uh, I know this one, I actually checked this earlier. This is another exact match. Slightly different thumbnails, which whatever, that's fine. But I'm probably going to leave this one up. And I'm going to change the thumbnail just to make it a lot different from this to this. Again, if I file the copyright, as much as I don't like thieves, I don't want somebody, I don't, I don't want this taken down and then me lose that upper carousel position. Especially because I'm the only video there. It's not really selling. It's not selling any per month. But... That's why I'm gonna leave that up there. So if it does sell, I've got good positioning there. Uh, now this one's really interesting. Um, this one is an exact match. This is actually a really good example. So here I am right here, 44 seconds. And you can see they've got a 44 second video. Now, it's always worth it to go ahead and play their video just for a few seconds because sometimes they'll put a different thumbnail here um, just to kind of throw you off the scent. But this one's clear. This one is not one that I would be uh, filing, they didn't steal anything. But what I am gonna do here is on my final results, this is ZRZ, I'm gonna go back to my final results, I'm gonna find this one and I'm gonna say don't show it again because that one is okay. You can see that it disappeared from my list, I don't have to see it anymore. Let's see, this was the yeah, ZRZ, I got two more to show you here. Now these are shoes, now look, it's kind of interesting because the video that they have here is still a timed video, but it's not an upper carousel, right? But it's obvious this is me. If I click so the button here, I live, there I am. My video is down here in the lower carousel uh, by itself right here. I'm probably gonna file on this one, why? Because one, I didn't tell them they can use this, and two, there's no upper carousel to be lost, right? It's just the brand video here. I don't lose anything by this. I don't want them stealing it. I don't lose anything by filing something on it. Now, keep in, keep in, keep in mind that sometimes shoes and like clothes are a little bit harder to track down the results. You, the results might say there's an exact match and you might come to the page going like, where? Sometimes Amazon will deliver information about videos that you may not actually be able to see on the screen. And that's okay in those particular cases. If you can't find it, just go to back to that thing. This was SH, what was it? Something, SH something right there. So just do, if you can't find it, just do don't show again and it won't show up. Now one more, listen, I'm gonna tell you this real quick. The next product is an adult product. It's nothing racy, but just a heads up. In case you're easily offended, you may wanna fast forward here just a little bit. So here was one that was not an exact match. In fact, I found this one down here. You can see it says check. This was a within margin. So look at this. If we click on the thumbnails or we click on the videos, so here I am, obviously that's me, but look what they've done here. They replaced the thumbnail and um, they changed the time on it just by a little bit because they added that thumbnail in. In fact, I bet they put it right there at the beginning. Nope, they put it at the end. Where'd they put that thing at? Uh, I thought maybe at the end. I don't know where they put it. They ha oh, no, that's not it. Well, they put this somewhere because now it is one minute long. It might've just been a formatting thing. I don't know. But this one is in the second section. It is a different thumbnail. Here's my custom thumbnail. This one is tricky because if I take this down, if I say I don't want them to use it, then I lose upper carousel position. And there's only a two of us that's currently up here. Uh, this is currently not available. So it's really, I probably will on this one because it's not selling anyways. But that's one of the things you have to watch for because they can get tricky uh, and sneaky with some of those things. And maybe worth mentioning here too that a lot of the within margin uh, are not gonna be matches. 
these are just, they happen to be close enough. I think that the margin of error was like 2% or 5% in either direction, either under or over. And so a lot of these results, what you're gonna find is you're gonna look at them once and you're just gonna click the check, don't ever show again because they're not met. But as you can see here, this one was, so you can still find these types of situations where they have taken your stuff. And the goal here is go through and decide what you wanna file copyright complaints on or not. And uh, you know, again, if you want to, there are instructions right here. If you click this, I'll fix that video over on that page. And that's it, a reminder, this is a feature that is available with the Amazing Influencers Toolkit. This is the Google Chrome extension for Amazon Influencers that, um, that will help you find these types of situations. So I hope this was helpful for you. The idea of filing a copyright complaint on people, I think everybody gets very excited about it up front and goes, yeah, take it down. But I think if you really kind of sit back from a business standpoint and go like, there are some ramifications to me if I do that, like I showed you in some of these situations, you know, where you will lose an upper carousel. Is that worth it in those particular cases? And I think it depends on if the product is selling, if the product is active. So I think there's a little bit more nuance to just saying, just file it. I used to just file it. I was just like, I'm not even going to wait. I'm going to file it. But maybe you'd rather have upper carousel opportunity and that's totally fine. Whatever works for you. So uh, if this, at this point was helpful, maybe hit the subscribe button, maybe even the like button here. A amazing Influencers Toolkit, free download in the description down below. Let me know if you got any questions. As always in the comments, I'll do what I can to answer. We'll see you as always on the next video. Peace out.